Uh, so, quite a few years ago now, uh, we uh, we had a line of duty death incident uh, where two firefighters died, two were critically injured, me being one of them, uh, and I had to retire due to those injuries. Uh, you know, they, I guess the distance between life and death is six inches because that's how far I was away from the guys. Uh, it, I don't think that it was all the trauma on the job that pushed me over. For me, it was just that one event. Uh, I've seen some pretty horrific stuff. Uh, not getting into great detail, but everything from burned corpses to decapitations to strawberry jam and everything in between. And that stuff really never bothered me. You know, yeah, I'm one of the old dinosaurs that say, if you can't handle that, find another job. Uh, we'll see because you see it all the time. Uh, in this case, uh, we had gone interior, and my captain and I actually got trapped. Uh, and at the point where we were trying to uh, get our way out, it was, it was so hot that we didn't know if the building was going to flash or if the floor was just going to give out because it was obvious that it was, we were getting cooked underneath as well as on top. Uh, and at the point we realized where we were trapped and had to get out, uh, I pictured the, uh, the fire chief's buggy pulling up in front of my house. And for me, that was what messed me up. Uh, you know, and I know it's kind of BS and nothing you can do about it, but I felt like I was letting my wife and family down. The, the rest of the incident that actually killed the two and injured us two was neither here nor there to me. Yeah, it sucked, but that's kind of part of the job. Uh, I thought I was fine. I thought I could handle it. I went for three years. Man, I was fooling everybody. Well, actually, that's a lie. I was fooling myself and everybody else could see it. But as far as I was concerned, yeah. I had this thing licked. It wasn't bothering me. I was fooling everybody. Uh, I ended up for three years crawling into a bottle.